I grew up in Ohio and it, and it's like kind of a weird place to end up to 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 become a professional skateboarder but there was like a serial entrepreneur uh, that owned the skate shop there who would start throwing all these big demos and big events and so like I really like locked in on like man I, I want to become a pro skateboarder from the very beginning and and to me my vision for the ultimate skater is like Mark Gonzalez right like like super creative and technical and and rock stars like Christian Asoy, you know what I mean? Like, like skateboard, the beauty of skateboarding is you got to make it your own and evolve into your own sort of, um, you know, style, the tricks you chose, all of that stuff, you know? And really, you know, you, you got to think, like, I created my league because I grew up in a world where, like, when skateboarding competition became irrelevant and then it it had a resurgence, but it was done through X Games and, and Do Tour and all yep. this stuff. So even when I created the league, it was about elevating like all the authentic pro skateboarders and giving them a platform. And one of them is Nija, you know, because you got to understand like Nija was like dead broke when his family came to the first street league in Phoenix and I paid for them their hotel rooms. They had no money. Wow. And then that kid won his first con pro contest at 15. And and won $150,000 that changed his life and his family's life. And to me, it was really all about putting all of those, Paul Rodriguez, Tori Pudwell, Ryan Sheckler, giving all of these guys this like authentic platform that we didn't have from our era uh, to, 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 to be able to showcase their abilities on the, on the mainstream, you know? So um, like I'm, you know, am always connected. It will always be a skater, right? In the sense of like, you just look at everything on its skateability in the world, you know, it's like <laughs> ah, ah. that rail you know, ah. right now. No, yeah, but in, like, a, in, a, in a way it's kind of analogous to like what you're doing. Like what, what can I do with given, given what I have? Right. You and know? then it's like, and think about it from a failure perspective, like you and evolution, you want to learn a trick. You have to keep trying it over and over and over and begin to make adjustments and learn from it until you finally get it. Then it's like, whoa, now it's now it's embedded in your system. I think that that's how I've like really at that's what was sort of the core basis of even the system that I developed um, that that is the machine and my machine mindset and all the systems that I have today is based in that sort of skate mentality. That's so funny that you mentioned that that never goes away. Like every time you walk downstairs, you see like a, uh, like Hubba or like some big ass ledge. You're like, right. yo, this ledge is fucking sick. You're like four, you haven't skated in 12, 15 years. That's what I'm saying. Everything is skatable. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh man. Yeah. Oh. I, I was like that with, uh, with lawns. I didn't skate. I, I mowed lawns. Yeah. Every time you were like, Sunday, <laughs> my, no, every lawn I, I, mean, I go, I could do some good lines on that. Yeah. Lawn. yeah. Like, I'd imagine myself cutting that line. I look at oh, tables yeah. and talk and think about the lines I could do sometimes. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Look at this guy right here. Could snort this thing so that's a great table dude. yeah that okay, the height Michael. of that table for like a house party like 4 a.m oh my god I hey i would argue that this ha that there has been that it has happened here dude i you was know, holding man. a gold Percent, olympic Mike. gold yeah. medal one time at a party in la while people were doing cocaine yeah. off of it and that i didn't do the i don't do cocaine i've no. never done it scares yeah. me but Horrible. that moment i, I was a definitely a hey what the fuck is going <laughs> what olympic gold medalist gave me their medal so people could do cocaine off and at a party i'm sure they could deduct <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they could somebody watches right now i'm, I'm like, oh, pretty fuck. sure they could easily deduct that, that if they needed about. to you know what i mean hey there if you like the clip make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right